Okay, I want to talk about the Bulwark next. Bulwarks are incredibly fucking annoying enemies. And unless you have a very specific plan for them, they're going to push you back into corners. This enemy exists to eat up space and to try to push you up against walls and to make other enemies annoying. So first thing that you absolutely need to understand, this is absolutely paramount that you understand this. Like, I really cannot, honest to God, express how important it is that you understand this. Two things you need to know. Gunners behind bulwarks have this really BS interaction. Where the moment he stops getting stunned, you'll see what I'm talking about. They will proc that stun. So if there is, like, shotgunners or gunners behind an enemy bulwark, you absolutely have to break line of sight. There is no exceptions. No strategy you employ other than underhanding a grenade behind them while staying close to them to let it knock them over. Unless you have a way to knock them over through their shield, if there are gunners behind them, nothing you do works or matters. Okay, now that that's out of the way, the other thing you have to understand about bulwarks, this does nothing. Please don't do this. Every time you hit their shield like this, you are just making them do... It's better with the gun because the knife is so weak, but you're making them do that. That little pushback. This is why they never drop their shield, because you're just hitting it. So, with those two things in mind, don't attack the shield unless your attack breaks it like a bolter or a surge staff or something. Don't fight them when there's gunners behind them unless you have a way to manually knock them over. So, what do you actually do about them? Well, you wait for them to attack, and then you hit their head. Deal enough damage after they attack, and that a lot makes them fall, not necessarily fall over, but it puts them into this stagger state. Now, what do you do when there's one, two, three, four? Because in Auric, there will be four of them coming at you at once. Now, they will cover each other, but it's the same general thing. You still want to just try to take up, take what you can. Now, in situations where there's four of these guys and there's gunners behind them, now you're talking about a really, really dangerous situation. That's where it's just impossible to break through them, and that's where you really want at least one manual way to knock them over. So let me give you an example of that. One, two, three, four. So the veteran can throw grenades, but after you throw the grenade, you have to stand your ground. Because the moment it goes off and they knock over, I kind of failed to do it there, but you really want to kill at least one. Veteran has another interesting way to handle this situation with the shout. The shout will further their stagger. So if you've already staggered them, or, and this is the really important thing to know, because other classes can do this as well. If you have an ultimate that can stagger bulwarks, just know that you can do this. This works for the Zealot book as well. I'm pretty sure it'll work with the Ogren charge. If multiple bulwarks have set themselves up to be staggered, then this will just stagger all of them. I need multiple of them to try and attack me. See how it staggered the two that were eligible to be staggered? So if you're in a situation where bulwarks just keep defending one another, either lob a grenade behind them, use your ultimate to stun them when they drop when, when more than one drops their guard, all you need to do is get rid of one bulwark. Because watch this. One... One, two, three. Dealing with three bulwarks is nothing. There will always be an opening like that. Three bulwarks will always provide at least one opening for you. And off that opening, you can stun one, which means there's only two coming at you, which always leads to this chain effect of openings. However, four of them is the perfect amount to where they will cover each other more often than not. Also, as far as their stats go... They take default damage to everything, but they do have carapace armor everywhere except for their head and torso and the upper body. Now, it kind of sucks that this is unyielding. It's It both sucks and it's both good. Things like bolters that are built to deal with bosses also happen to be pretty good at dealing with bulwarks. But there is no benefit to being in melee with bulwarks. So if you can help it, this is another enemy that you really want to counter with your ranged weapon. 
Also, blocking them is not the worst strategy because it'll do that unless they do that. Then that that's why I wanted to talk about this. They have a very unique hard counter to blocks where they can shield bash you, they can push you. However, if they aren't going to push you, blocking is not a bad way to get yourself out of the stun lock where you have four of them. Because if I may show you this, because once you start blocking, you have to commit to it. So they start running at you and see how that provided an opening for me? When you block, they will never run up and just shield bash you. At least in my experience, it's just not a thing. They only do that if you're like preemptively blocking. So you do like this. See, like, that's what I mean by preemptively blocking. So you just do that, and this builds some level of you're able to get something in. Because when you're dealing with several bulwarks and you don't have space to work with, you kind of have to take risks to try and create space for yourself. While I wouldn't recommend going up and trying to block the initial wave of hits when there's four of them, if you're back to the wall, then it really might just be the only thing you could do. Because when you block, when you block their hit, it doesn't matter how many there is. If you block their hit and then do an ultimate, which enables you to manually push them back, that will always stagger them, which always gives you the opportunity to kill at least one bulwark to start the domino effect. I think that talks about everything.